And now we are down to our sixth and last speaker. Yes, Do you and have any idea who this is? Well, I know the people here definitely know who this speaker is. Definitely, they know that this person is such a big personality. Uh huh. He is sure to catch your attention as he is one of our generation's favorite TV personalities. I couldn't agree more. He is a well known TV host and actor for the ABS CBN network, and I myself can't deny that as a host, I really look up to him as one of my inspirations. And other than that, he graduated Bachelor of Science in Health Science in Ateneo de Manila University. And right now, he's very famous in terms of being a VJ in channels such as Mix. And actually, you can really see that he has other things. He, does, he, he not only hosts, he doesn't just do those things, but he also has other documentaries that show awareness on certain stuff in our society. And you can really see that there's advocacy on that part. I, I agree, Nathan. Well, I guess... No more time to blubber and just announce who it is. Let's give a huge round of applause. But wait, not yet. I know you want to see him, guys, but we know that we have to say more things right now because we want you guys to share your experiences on social media with the hashtag, hashtag TEDxUST, and tag us at underscore TEDxUST. That's correct. And also, uh, a few reminders when we introduce this last host, uh, let's you know, just stay in our seats. And I am, I think so. Yes, that is right. So with that, may I request everyone to look at their left side. Left side, left side. Now look at their right side. And now you look at me, okay? Okay. Give your attention to us right now. No matter who comes in that door, your attention is with us for now. Yes. Yes, because we're about to introduce our next speaker. So once again, he is a well-known TV host and actor for the ABS-CBN Network. He graduated Bachelor of Science in Health Science in Ateneo de Manila University and is a prominent VJ in the media industry. And finally, let's give a huge round of applause. Play. Oh, maybe a little settled. Okay. For Mr. Mr. Robbie, Robbie Domingo. Domingo. Play. 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 No? Okay. It's okay. Hello. Hi. Um, before anything else, oh, okay. It's not, I think it's not working. Okay. Hi. <laughs> um, we shall begin right about now. Ladies and gentlemen, all over the world! All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, mga kapamilya all over the world. Good afternoon. <laughs> I can see lots of familiar faces in the crowd, but yes, that is my usual line. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, mga media all over the world. Um, whenever this cuteness pops up on television, or, oh, or, or whenever I host an event, but this time it's, it's different. I'm not hosting. This is a totally new thing for me. I'll be giving a talk. And perhaps I'll be giving the biggest talk of my life. I've been saying this line for the longest time. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, from all over the world, for the longest time, and got me curious, especially in line with our theme, which is wavelength. Okay, what is the wavelength of that line? So what I did was I sought the help of a professional, a friend back in ABS-CBN, a sound engineer, and it um, shows something like this. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, mga kapamilya all over the world. See, I prepared so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what he said was, uh, he explained to me the decimals of my voice. It looks like this one. Uh-huh. 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 Uh okay, there we go. My voice had 88 decibels. <laughs> Normal conversations would uh, range from, what, 60 to 70 decibels, and shouting would be above 85. So mine was normal. Mine was 88. And the highest point was when I said all. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all over the world. Exacto, exacto, right? And usually that spiel would last seven seconds short. See. 
Ted made me think about these things that I have never thought about in my life. We have been hearing, discussing, we have been hearing, discussing, and defining wavelengths all afternoon. But let me just reiterate that definition right now, okay? What is a wavelength? Wavelength is defined as the distance between two successive waves moving in a continuous motion. Like a race of frequency, our lives move in a linear direction, allowing us, consequently, to adapt to a forward-looking orientation. One week we memorize that. But this does not exempt us from experiencing hardships in our lives. It then becomes necessary for us human beings to pause and reevaluate the greatest decisions of our lives. Through the crests and the troughs of our wavelength. How do you say it? Trough. Trough, no? It's not true. It's trough. Kami mga atenists, we say trough. Eh. <laughs> we may be able to use these lessons of overcoming adversity by looking back at our experiences. You know, wavelengths can be found everywhere. And not, I'm not just talking about sound waves, all right? It can also be found in imagery. And let me show you another perspective that I've gained through my latest project. You better watch these clips. If it will allow me. Okay, it has crests, troughs, Okay, this first video was shot at 7 meters in Malapascua. <laughs> it's a... Oh, it's so good! Seahorse! Another video, this one, was shot when I was in uh, Gato Island, around 22 meters. Yeah, I love diving so much. Now, let me ask you guys, can anyone tell me what was missing in those videos? Or what was the difference? What? Can someone tell me? I heard the correct answer. It has something to do with color. Color? Red. Yes, water absorbs different wavelengths of light in different degrees. The longest wavelengths with the least, among, uh, least amount of energy are absorbed first. Remember the color spectrum? Roy Jibiv? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. As you go deeper, some of the colors disappear. Even water here at five feet depth Okay, you will notice, uh, you have this noticeable loss of color red. And for this reason, strobes or filters are used to put color back up again. See? That is what happens when you dive. So I encourage everyone to dive. <laughs> it's really good. And yes, you might feel the same way with your life. As you experience deeper lows, oftentimes, your life can become dull. Your life can become colorless. And I'm here to tell you to hold on. Don't surrender. It takes a change in perspective in order to see the color amidst the crisis, amidst your deepest lows in life. Honestly, okay, honestly, Ted has been giving me so much stress. So much. I've been thinking about <laughs> this talk for the longest time. It's not just because I'm delivering a talk in front of a great audience here in UST. Whew. I'm just a boy standing in front of boys and girls, asking them to listen to me, proving that I'm smart. <laughs> no, no, but because um, you have given me something to think about, which is life. I have been staring at de that definition of wavelength for the longest time. An array of points with crests and troughs, and I have been fixated with that certain word, point. 
And at this point, let me share you a story which made me elicit a spectrum of emotions. It happened last February, mm -hmm, just this year, last month. Um, do you know that Twitter personality, at Senora Santibanez? Yeah? Okay. She, he, it, <laughs> tagged me in a post in Twitter. And let me show you a photo of that one. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Santino. Honestly, hindi pa kami nakikita ni Santino. So, kung kilala niya siya, pakilala naman ako. Gusto ko siya makilala. <laughs> Gusto ko siya makilala. Santino Agravante, who is just feeling curious. <laughs> I remember this event, let me tell you. This was in SMX for a travel expo. And I was there as the ambassador for Japan. Um, but I can't seem to remember this guy having... His photo taken with me. And that's okay. Kasi gumanti siya sa akin eh. Wala siyang pakialam. <laughs> at first, at first, I felt a little bit bad. <laughs> then I found it funny. I've been doing lots of events, series of shows, catering to different markets like reality shows, variety shows, pageants, even children's shows. And yet, this kid, this, this kid, he doesn't know me at all. And it got me thinking, if this kid, Santino, Agravante, who is feeling curious, <laughs> doesn't know who I am, eh ako, kilala ko ba talaga sarili ko? It got me to think even further. Can someone really know oneself? Until now, I still don't know why I am here. Until now, I don't know myself that well. Until now, I don't know why I am here standing in front of you guys talking about sensible and perhaps nonsensical matters about life. I had a different life initially. Okay, I was born into a family of doctors. Wait, 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 okay. I was, I was born to a family of doctors, um, both proud graduates of this university, yep. My father, uh, Dr. Domingo, yeah, and my mother, Dr. Domingo. <laughs> my, my dad is a surgeon and my mom is a pedia. And my grandfather was a doctor. My relatives, Ophthalmologists in Bacolod, I initially wanted to become opta. And other relatives, my cousins, they are medical practitioners. I have to be honest, I feel really insecure. Looking at the, some professors, professionals, all with MDs, some of you guys, pre-med students, yeah? Uh, pre-med students, I feel insecure because you will eventually have those MDs after your name. But it's okay. I keep on psyching myself up on my way here to UST, one of my dream schools as well. Na, okay lang, Rob. May MD ka rin. Ting may pangalan mo. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Marion Domingo, RMD. So, bigyan na sa akin. Bigyan na sa akin yun. Growing up, I was born into a um, medical environment. Uh, training me, my dad training me to hold a scalpel at the age of three years old. Yeah. That's true. Um, been living in a world of medical jargons, systolic, diastolic, brachial arteries, and whatnot. I've been wear I'm wanting to wear a white coat, but I end up wearing gray, <laughs> gray coats, black coats, and blue coats for most of my events. You know, I I became a doctor once mm -hmm. during an episode of Home Sweetie Home. <laughs> Pano, Romeo, dito muna. Dito muna ang hintayin yung mga mag-inam mo. Hindi ba ako pwedeng pumasok sa loob, Dok? Oh, hindi eh. Kasi masyadong maliit yung space sa loob ng delivery room. Pero huwag ka mag-alala. Akong bahala sa baby mo. Okay? Sige, sige, Dok. Salamat, Dok. John Lloyd Cruz, no? John Lloyd Cruz. 
And when we talk about the baby, we're not talking about Elena Darna, okay? Just to be clear. <laughs> talking about the baby inside Home Sweet Home. I had a series of uh, crests, of highs and lows, of uh, crests and troughs, like everyone here. But last year, last year was, was different. I had a series of lows in my life, and this is the first time I'll be talking about it. This is TEDxUSD. This is a TED Talk. This is not the buzz. But allow me to share my 2017 story to you guys. I've been accustomed to working so hard, but even more so when I have been part of ABS-CBN back in 2008. Ten years in the industry, baby. Marami akong pinagdaanan, yeah, just like everyone. Um, it was a constant decision-making process. You remember the crests and troughs that uh, we have been defining a while ago? Yeah, high points, low points. Well, right about now, allow me to use those terms at certain points or moments of our lives. Our wavelengths, okay? All right, I was a pre-med student, yeah, in Ateneo who took up BS Health Sciences. And I would go to school at 6 a.m., finish my school commitments at around 3 p.m. After that, I to the ABS-CBN compound until mga 2 a.m. and go back home, 5.30 a.m., and the cycle will just repeat every single day. Imagine doing that for four years. No complaints, I was really blessed. After graduation, instead of going to AS ASMPH, sorry guys, <laughs> I took a break from my academic life. Sabi ko, bigyan natin abs a chance. One year lang. One year became two years, three years, four years, five, six, and now my batchmates, some of my friends, are going to different residencies, uh, are doing their residencies in different schools, uh, the, the different hospitals. Again, I'm not complaining. I am blessed. And throughout those years, I've been given lots of big projects, being utilized nonstop every single day for six years, no break, every, every day ABS-CBN, from ASAP to Mix, The Voice, It's Showtime, UKG, The Biggest Loser, I Dare You, Pinoy Big Brother, Dance Kids, I Can Do That, and I Can Do That was the last one. And back then, yeah, I still had regular programs, ASAP and Mix, yeah, but it's still different when you don't have that certain primetime solo project showing the biggest network in the Philippines. And that time, I could consider that a project. When you're not given something, you tend to think a lot, right? You question your credibility. I remember I was in the bed. I thought that I was aware of what they said. It's not Soberano. Am I not enough? Why am I? Why am I, guys? Pangit ba ako? <laughs> Kapalit-palit ba ako? During those times, during those times, my confidence became this small. What made matters worse was bidding goodbye to an almost five-year relationship. Oh, We... <laughs> We had to make a choice, okay? We had to make a choice. Because it was not making us happy anymore. Even if we tried to hold on, we we'll just keep on putting, on putting clothes of lies within ourselves or, you know, surround us with lies. We have to accept the reality that we are falling. Yeah, we are, we are falling apart. We broke up, and that's what happened. What made matters worst was after the breakup, I met someone. Yes, I met someone. Someone who kept me company every single night. Minsan malakas siya, minsan sarap niya. Si Johnny. <laughs> minsan kasama ko rin si Jack, tsaka si Jose. Medyo awkward yung sinabi ko. <laughs> but we are, I think everyone knows what I'm talking about. I never knew that I would confide to alcohol that much. And this is the first time I'll be acknowledging this one to the public, to a crowd. I could finish half a bottle of Johnny Walker per night. I came from a conservative family. Hindi ko inakala na pwede pala mangyari yun. And trust me, I was not proud of myself during those moments, and I would not recommend those to anyone because ultimately, it was not good. 
It was not good. Last year, I was lonely. Last year, it happened. There were a lot of moments that I want to stop. The pain, the loneliness, even my career. Then it hit me. If we stop now, I don't know overtime, but if we stop now, if we stop now, then what? What will happen? There's nothing. You know, life could be funny. Life can give you a chance to make that certain trough in your life go back up again. Yeah, it could happen. Hmm? But I believe more in the fact that life is full of choices, that you can make that certain switch and decide that I've had enough. I have to do something about my life. Move on now. Move forward na tayo. During the last quarter of 2017, I went to Japan and been going to different parts of the Philippines for a new baby, <laughs> a travel show from the news and the current affairs program of ABS-CBN. It's called La Cochero. It was not an, e an easy show to mount, trust me. It was a humbling experience moving from one place to another, having three hours of sleep with budgeted trips. But it was okay because in those moments, you get to appreciate the people around you. Also, I realized that the more you go out of your comfort zone, the more you get to know your character within amidst everything. Also part of my 2017, I got to experience great relationships. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> great relationships, okay? And uh, by that time, by that time, budding relationships. By that time, break na kami ni Johnny. <laughs> I mean, nakikita kami sa mga parties, okay? Pag nakita ko siya, <laughs> ay, pero awkward kami dalawa eh. I've been going around building relationships, connections in terms of businesses. I got to reconnect to real friends who were just waiting for me to go back home. I got my mojo back. Yeah, ang sarap magtrabaho ulit, as if it's my first time. And maybe made some new relationships whom I call nine times a day because I have found happiness again. At this point, I know some of you guys might be looking at your watches, your phones. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> No, just kidding. Uh, giving me some strange looks. As you ask, Robbie, tama mong sinabi? Dada ka ng dada? Ultimately, you would ask, so what's the point? What's the point? Na, ano ka? Nagkaroon ka ng breakup, na wala ka ng trabaho, unum ka, nagkaroon ka naman ng kotsero, tapos bumalik ka sa mga kaibigan mo. Ano, ganun kadali yung buhay? Your lowest point in life is not the same as mine. You might think that one. Again, pause, stop, reevaluate. What's the point? The story I shared a while ago, that was my life. This. That was my life. That was not just my life. Uh huh. This, this is my life. Hindi ko nakita. Pinsin niyo? Huh? May baba, pero umangat. Hindi ko nakita yun. I took everything for granted. Okay. This is Maro. Yeah, my brother. Pareho kami ng nanay at tatay. Maro, the only brother I have who worked for a restaurant because he's a chef in Manila. I'm really close to my brother mm -hmm. and to see him stressed and depressed grips my heart. He would go home once or twice every two months. Ganong kalala. OFW kami. Until an opportunity came for him which was being a manager for Coco. And now, he goes home every single night. I could say that my family is complete. I never saw... Yeah, that's Maro. I never saw my parents working 
or stop. Uh, I never saw my parents stop working. Till now, papa ko, si Doc Boy, 62 years old, 61 years old, trabaho pa rin trabaho. And my mom, before, she had to quit her job to take care of us. And when I had that chance to give them a break, I had the opportunity to send them to different parts of the world, give them the vacation I've always dreamt of. Nakaipon ako kahit papaano from uh, PBB, The Voice, from commercials. But the reality is, I won't be here forever. These things can disappear just like that. That's why I'm happy to have some opportunities to have some investments to cater to my daily needs in the future. Despite the busy sked, I never thought that I was always there for my friends. And up to now, I've been getting used or getting surprised that they have been keeping up with me, being present in the lows and highs of my life, including this one, this TED Talk. The crowd, we got my bosses, I got the queen of Poblacion, I got a bouncer, and the prince of Wakanda. <laughs> <laughs> and one thing I realized, it was just back at home. It was a black thing. It was just in the corner of my room. It's not Nico Malili, my friend. <laughs> My piano, my piano was there when I was happy. My piano was there when I was sad. My piano was there when I was angry. And my piano was there even when I was content. And uh, my last test high, it was, it was this kid, Santino. <laughs> no, I kid you not. Akala ko, wala na ako kasi Gosh, di ako kilala ng batang to. Pero hindi eh. Santino? Nilapag niya ako. Pinaba niya ako sa lupa. Kinestion ko kung sino ako. And then I realized, ako si Robbie Domingo, who appreciates the little, the little highs in my life. Which makes me choose to move forward. Again, dami kong sinabi. You might ask, Robbie, what's the point? The point that I'm driving at is there is no point. This is perhaps the most pointless TED Talk that you'll be hearing. <laughs> My main point for you is not to get stuck on any one point. You'll miss the entire point if you just focus on one single point. Remember that life Life is a journey of continuous learnings, lessons learned, and experiences. Lagi may kasunod na kabanata sa kwento ng buhay mo. Let the story of your life unfold. Sa lib loob ng libro ng buhay mo, sa bawat pag-angat mo ng pahina, makulay ang buhay. Don't forget to appreciate the ups of your life. Failure, yeah, everyone, nakaraan sa'yo na failure. It's just a part of your life. Perhaps the troughs of our wavelength. You don't need that all-time high in order to experience a crest. You just need to hold on to those ups in your life to make you go forward. There's always hope. Keep, more, uh, keep moving forward. You might ask me, how? Choose to look for it. You learn how to appreciate, embrace, and enjoy those little highs. Because ultimately, ultimately, those would keep moving you forward. At the end of the day, when you see your God, I hope that you could say that I've lived a good life. But more than that, I hope and pray that when you see your God, you would say, I lived a good life. What's next? Thank you. Mr. Robbie Domingo, everybody. Thank you so much for sharing your life with us, proving that you are just like us, or 
maybe a little better host than we oh, are. No. <laughs> but at Actually. the same time, he's just like us going through problems, but we can still overcome this through our families. Yes, and actually. Definitely. And to be honest, I'm feeling so much pressure right now sharing the stage with you, Sir Robbie. But uh. anyway, it was very, very, it's a very good talk actually. And it really made me think about myself. And I'm sure the audience right now are thinking of many things as well. So with that, I guess we can continue with the discussion. All right, for the discussion, uh, to facilitate, may we call on Mr. Miko Untalan. All right, so let's give him a warm round of applause. Yes, thank you so much, Nathan and Chrissy. And as Hello. you guys have said, yes, Hello. good afternoon, Mr. Robbie Domingo. Mr. Robbie Domingo, wow. Yes, and as Nathan and Chrissy have said, uh, you're a very great host and you've shared some of our events here in the university. And I'm more than sure that I speak for everyone here when we say it's great to have you back here in USD. Uh, so to uh, begin our question and answer portion, um, I would just like to respectfully imitate you or copy one of your trademark lines. What would your advice be to all the ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and capamilias all over the world <laughs> who would ask themselves, what's the point? What would you, what would you tell them? Just like what I said, uh, there's no point at all. If you keep on asking, okay, ano bang point ng buhay ko? You just focus on one singular point, uh, singular point. you forget that there, you know, there's a continuum, an array of points. You don't stop. Just don't stop. Tuloy mo lang buhay kasi masaya mabuhay. Thank you so much, Mr. Robbie Domingo, for that very inspiring answer and of course, for your very inspiring talk. And now, we can accommodate up to three questions. So, let's go. Hi, Mr. Robbie. My name is Paula. I'm a third-year medical student at the Faculty of Medicine and Surgery. Oh, hi. Um, hi, Paula. Hi, Miss Paula. <laughs> I just wanted to ask you, throughout your life, uh, you have every opportunity or every reason to kind of be over the moon. You have a lot of success, a lot of accomplishments, and a lot of ups and downs. But what um, would you say is the part of your life that keeps you the most grounded, like that keeps you down to earth, that brings you back to where and who you are? Family and friends, all the time. Um, whenever I go out, like on television or events, people would say, Mr. Robbie Domingo, sa bahay, ako si, ako si B. <laughs> Be naligo ka na. Like so, those moments, those moments would bring me back. Even my friends would say, uh, "Wala akong pakialam kung sino ka. Wala akong pakialam. Basta nito ako para sa And those lines really get me and bring me, make me human, and make make me appreciate life even more. Thank you so much. You don't stand on a pedestal lang. Kailangan instead na nasta ka. You, you don't live. Just with, uh, you don't live for the people lang, you live with the people. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, um, this is gonna sound too personal, pero it's about your breakup. And <laughs> it's nothing, ano lang, I just want to ask, syempre, matagal yun, and it's all familiar. What, and you know naman na it's the right thing to do at that time. What at this point of your life can you say na what what stops you from going back to something that familiar? Ah. I mean, kasi wow. alam mo, sorry if it's too personal. <laughs> okay. It's just kind of in the same maybe timing and everything. Um it turned out well for the both of us. She has been going to the All-Star game, uh riding uh, airplanes. <laughs> Sa taas, di ba? You've been doing a lot. I've been doing a lot as well. And maybe, maybe the best thing is we gave it a try. What happened? And yeah, I, I, I could say that we're still friends till now. Sorry if it's too much. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, Tito Boy. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, I'm just kidding. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Joke lang, joke lang. Joke lang. <laughs> Hi, good afternoon. I'm Sol, an alumnus of the Faculty of Pharmacy. Hello. I'd just like to ask, how do you get to choose which points do you go from here? Because there are moments in life na there are too many paths open. And how do you know, parang all options are viable and uh -huh. Lahat gusto mo sana i-pursue, but you know you could only choose one. How do you get from here to wherever you want to be? 
Thank you. The, oh, kaya ko sabi pa kita. No, I really wasn't uh, waiting for an answer. I just wanted. To, I was kidding. I just wanted to put it out there. So it's fine. Got you, bro. I'm fine. We're both fine. There. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait. You are so fine. Oh my God. Oh my God. There is um, a term by the Greeks. Term by the Greeks, it's called uh, aletheia. A philosophical term, aletheia. Yeah, you know aletheia. Yeah. It's the uncovering and uncovering of the truth. Just let it happen. Let your life unfold. Based on that one, my truth, my options go, could be different from your truth. His truth could be different from her truth. But what is true is we all exist right now. And uh, what is true is life will continue to exist. So exist with us. Move forward. Yung choosing ng option na yan, it depends with you. Mamay mag-usap tayo. <laughs> Bigata ng advice. Pero hindi ko alam ko ano nangyayari sa buhay mo. You choose, of course, the best one that will make you grow ultimately. Okay, I will hold on to that. So, uh, <laughs> you guys heard it here. <laughs> All right, thank you so much to everyone who asked questions. And of course, as future nation builders, as Mr. Robbie Dominga has said, we will not only live for the people, but we will live with, with the people. Yeah. Thank you so much, thank Robbie. You, and of course, so back to you, Nathan and Chrissy. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you thank so guys. much, Miko. Now to award the certificate of appreciation thank to you. Sir Robbie, let us call on Ma'am Fontanilla, Ma'am Guanhing, and Crian Pineda, oh. and Angeline Gala. Indeed, it was such a wonderful talk and made us think about ourselves personally because actually, we always ask at some point in our lives, what is the point? And to hear that there is no point, it is something that sounds new, but at the same time, it makes sense. It really makes it sense. Does, it does. And I hope we all understood this because okay. actually, coming from Mr. Okay. Robbie Domingo, it is something that is big, especially for a person like him who does so many things in life. He's a friend. Uh, yeah, yeah, so... He is my friend, everyone. Right, a round of applause yes. once again for Mr. Robbie Domingo. And now, Christy, I can really say that through all the TED Talks, we learned so much. So many things that definitely showed us many different perspectives, especially from people coming from different fields. Yeah, that's true. It's very nice to have all these people get together. Oh. To well, see this in front yes. of their eyes, can you believe it? I know, right? We're just standing right here while they're taking pictures. And, okay, okay, you guys have the picture, we're just gonna start. Wow, I really feel out of place right now. <laughs> anyone? <laughs> Look at the people up there, I know. They're shipping it right yeah. now, they actually ship it. Okay guys, okay, this is awkward guys. What am I gonna say right now? Does anyone want a picture? Birthday. Happy, birth happy birthday, happy birthday. All right. Happy birthday. Oh! It's my birthday uh, as well, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate that one. This certificate of appreciation is appreciated so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. All the best. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay. That was the most awkward Two to three minutes of my life. There's something, there's something coming out there. But that was great. Regards to your dad, Cedar Bosa. Oh. Tell him, he's my colleague. All right, so once again, guys, let's give a big hand to Mr. Robbie Domingo.